National Travel and Tourism Week is a time to highlight tourism's many essential roles to the economy. Visit Mobile is super excited to take part in this week, and today we've got David Clark and Ashley Rains with more information. Good morning to the both of y'all. Good morning. Good morning. So excited to have y'all. We've all got our blue on this morning, so we match very well. Ashley, we want to start with you first. How is Visit Mobile taking part in this week? So we always um, love to celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week because it gives us the opportunity to highlight uh, the tour tourism industry in Mobile and what that does um, for Mobile. It's another way that we get to celebrate our partners, we get to celebrate um, you know, our hoteliers, um, our attractions, all the, the reasons that, that people like to visit Mobile. And it's, it's incredibly, um, it's, it makes me very proud yeah. to be in tourism in Mobile. I'm proud to say I'm one of over 22,000 people in travel related jobs just in our city. And, you know, we, we are able to provide, um, you know, such great resources for the city. It's kind of our time to highlight that. Right, and it's been just a great run over the past 10 years, but let's talk about the next 10 years. How many fun, exciting things that the city of Mobile and beyond what we have, we're growing as a city, so it's lots of fun. Yeah. Speaking of that growth, David, you've got lots of numbers to prove that. Yeah, so I mean, numbers prove a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this last year we had 1.8 billion with a B in tourism spend. That's up 400 million since pre-COVID levels in 19, we had 3.4 million visitors to come into Mobile and to do all the fun things that we have. You know, mm -hmm. we're a city that's born to celebrate. So we don't only celebrate like just this week, it's all year long in Mobile. And I think one of the incredible things too that we have to offer in addition to what Ashley said was our culinary scene is, is crazy good mm -hmm. in Mobile. So it's authentic and that's a big driver of tourism also in right. Mobile. Right, for sure, for the locals to enjoy, but yes. our visitors as well. Um, it's a big week right here on the Gulf Coast. Lots of graduations happening this week. Summer kicks off for the kids. So if people are watching or if we've got some visitors and they want some ideas of what to do, what would you recommend for a fun day in Mobile? Oh my goodness. Um, I absolutely love to talk about how walkable our downtown mm -hmm. entertainment district is. And you have, like you said, uh, and David pointed out, um, the culinary scene is just absolutely amazing and there's shopping and there's art galleries and you know all kinds of really good eats and drinks but also you know the beautiful infrastructure you can you know go see our gorgeous cathedral you can go to a carnival in Mardi Gras Park which is happening this weekend mm -hmm. you can go celebrate the bicentennial of uh, Bienville Square there's so much to do in Mobile that's right we're so proud to live in this city yes. and call it home um, so if you're with us visiting with us we've got lots to offer David if someone's watching they want to partner with you guys learn more or what's the best way to do that? Mobile.org. Mobile.org. Mm -hmm. You will find all things to do in Mobile and all events and uh, Mobile.org. All right. An easy peasy way to get there. We're going to have that link on our website, Fox10TV.com. Ashley, David, thank you both thank so much you. for being here. Have thank a fun you. week. And we'll have more online.